Uh, I think I found the real backrooms level 188, and it's not the one that we all thought it was. Hey, I'm Brugley, and today I'm going to be talking about level 188 from the Wikidot, which was actually just discovered recently to be the real level 188 spot. So we really have no idea where the old level 188 is located. It's just completely random. But yeah. This one's crazy, new, and it's just insane. Let's get into it, shall we? Also, check out my vlog channel in the description below if you want to get a more personal side of me. And while you're down there, also please check out my third channel, Spoogly, where I upload more cryptic and conspiracy stuff. I'm trying to get those channels to 100k by the end of the year. We're going to be grinding out all year on them, and I'd really appreciate it if you checked it out. Thank you. So Backrooms level 188 is now classified as a class unalived zone. I have to say that because YouTube will get mad at me. Because of hazards with your surroundings and pretty much the entire level being uninhabitable. Fun stuff. When you first get sent to the level, you'll be on the surface of a very tiny planet. The planet has been nicknamed August 1B and it sort of looks like the real life planet called Mercury. They're both grayish and they're both covered in huge craters and they both have harmful radiation in their environments. These similarities with the real-life Mercury made the first explorers to the level think that they were on the actual planet Mercury from real life. But after being there for a few minutes, they noticed some key differences that made it obvious that this is something entirely different. Firstly, the atmosphere on this level actually has breathable oxygen, but only in very small amounts. And the temperature is not very extreme in some parts of it, like the entire planet of Mercury is. It can range from negative 98 Celsius or negative 144 Fahrenheit to 221 degrees Celsius or 430 Fahrenheit, which is actually much cooler than the real Mercury planet. And the final difference is that this level orbits around a blue supergiant and the planet Mercury does not. Now, if none of that made sense and you didn't listen to anything, pretty much this backrooms level looks like Mercury, but it's not at all. Another factor about this level is that it has a pretty big twilight zone on it, which pretty much means that half the planet is always daytime and half is always nighttime, and it does not have a day and night cycle at all. It's in between these two halves where the level takes place where you can actually explore. The half of the planet that faces the sun is hot. Way too hot for life, you can't go there. Also, we're not sure how there's even a sun here, or if it's a sun. It just functions like the real one, so we're going with it. And then the half of the planet that's fully dark is freezing cold, and it's not suitable to live on either. Which just leaves that area in between the hot and cold as the single place that people can stay on for a short amount of time. And this is where you'll be if you first get sent here. It stays at around 40 Celsius or 104 Fahrenheit most of the time, which is still pretty hot. But it's not as bad as 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So, like I said earlier, the planet I just described is called August 1b, but there are actually two more planets that make up this quote-unquote solar system and the rest of the level. Those are August 1c and August 1d. You can look up into the sky of August 1b and you can see these two planets because they're pretty close. 1c is the closest planet to you and it seems to be made entirely out of crystals or some type of crystallic material. Then August 1d seems to be made entirely of an ocean-like planet. Now, neither of these planets have been explored yet, and no one's been there, because exploring two random planets in a backrooms level wouldn't make any sense. So we get this information based off of comets and meteorites that have fallen to August 1b's ground. And these comets are very common. They fall out of the sky all the time and break through the outer layer of the planet, and you'll see them all the time. It's nothing crazy. But things in the sky and things that fall from the sky isn't even that weird. What is weird is what's already on the ground here on August 1b. This massive decaying space station. Yep, there is an entire space station constructed on the surface of a random planet in the back rooms. But of course, the weirdness doesn't stop there, because after searching the place and all the records and all the files and all the papers, all that stuff, none of it has ever been seen or heard about or found before, and whoever made this thing is very unknown to us 
as people. Could it be aliens? Could it be backrooms entities? Who knows? The artifacts that have been found are logged, and they range from old CD type things, to cassette tapes, to storage lists, to old text logs, to weird maps. It's all crazy, and it can mean there's a ton more lore to the backrooms as a whole that we had no idea existed. And Meg named these planets August 1B, 1C, and 1D because of this person's notes about the downfall of this outpost here. I'm not going to read the whole thing because it's long, but you should definitely check it out in the description if you want to know more. But I will summarize it with the summary that's given. Quote, The following are several journal entries by a woman known only as August. While not all pages were preserved in satisfactory conditions, entries which remained legible have provided the most clarity on the nature of the space station and of level 188 itself. August's affiliation is unclear, though from her writings, she appears to have been part of the group that originally built and inhabited the space station. The writing contains bizarre references to August's and her crewmates' non-anthropomoid physical features, like horns and tails and wings, suggesting that her group may have consisted partially or fully of non-human entities." End quote. So yeah, that was the summarization of all the logs that were found. If you want to go read each individual one of them, click the link in the description. They're crazy. This level was discovered in May of 2021 by a group of wanderers when they were trying to get out of level 3 when they noticed a weird window that opened up to a crater on this level. They jumped through that window to get to the crater, and they discover all the stuff that I just talked about. The planets, the moon base, all that stuff, the environments, everything was discovered because these people jumped through that window. There aren't any official exits listed of this planet, which is not very fun, so if you go here, you seem to be trapped here in this expanse of cratered, space-like environment. So this is actually the third or so backrooms level that's been discovered to exist in an outer space environment. This one is on a planet, others are in an orbiting spaceship, and others are completely random. My question is, you know, what does it all mean? How is there an outer space in the backrooms if the backrooms is not in our reality? Does that mean the backrooms takes place deep in real outer space? Or is the backrooms just so big that it has its own space too? Let me know in the comments below what you think about that. That's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. This level was full of a bunch of lore and that kind of stuff, which levels with a bunch of lore are just my favorite, obviously. Comment the keyword 188 Brugly if you made it this far, and I'll leave a heart on all the ones I see. That way I know you're a real one. Also check the links in the description for anything you need, like Discord, Twitter, vlog channel. Everything like that is down there. Also, I am flying to this original picture location of level 188 when I hit a million subs here on Brugly. So if you want to help me get there, obviously share it with your friends and family. Get ready for that. I'm going to vlog the entire thing. It's going to be super fun. I hope you're ready. One million in the summer. Let's get it.